Hello everyone, it's me Sandra, and today I'm going to be doing a golf cart vlog for you because I got my license back. It's actually my new ride because my car is actually at the dealership at the uh, auto, repair, auto repairs people, you know, because I was driving it. And I was driving on the left side of the road like you're supposed to do, you know. cars started coming directly at me in a different direction and I was like what like you're supposed to be on the left side of the road you know so I got like completely totaled my car so my car's actually in the uh, repair place and it's probably not gonna be repaired I just bribed them to try to repair my car for me I am actually really tough time through my life right now. Hurricane Matthew came and completely ruined my weekend. Freaking BS. So I was going to evacuate, you know, so I wouldn't have to deal with the hurricane. Because, you know, it's better to be better to be safe than sorry. But my friend who owns a bunch of yachts here, actually, a lot of them, his name is Chase. You can visit him at chasesyachts.weebly.com. I'll put the link in the description. Chase told me, he was like, I need um, someone to help me with my yachts because they're going to be like ruined in the storm, you know? So I told him, I says, well, I'm leaving so I can't help you, but my daughter's going to be staying because... I didn't want to tell her we were leaving because I didn't have to deal with her for the weekend. So I just kind of left her there. And I don't know where she went. I don't know where she is. I think the hurricane might have swept her away. I'm kind of hoping it did, but don't tell anyone I said that because that's really, really unmotherly like. There's a car coming directly at me. Ugh. Americans. So, I don't know where my daughter is. And that's kind of a bad thing because when you're a mother, and a lot of you might not understand this, but I definitely do. As a mother, when you lose your child and you don't know where they are, and they could have been swept away by a hurricane, you don't really know what to do. And it's just really confusing. In other news, my merchandise has been out for a while now. As you can see, I'm wearing it right now. get shirts, um, long sleeve shirts, sweatshirts, blankets, pillowcases, tablet cases, phone cases. Um, there's posters, there's, uh, you can get stationery and stuff, stickers. You can check out my merchandise, I'll put the link in the description as well. I'm probably not going to put the link in the description anyways, because I'm too lazy for that. Oh, there's a tree in the grass in the road. Would you look at that? Oh god, damn. merchandise you can afford. Even if you can't afford it, your bank might not notice that you've withdrawn too much money, you've overdrawn your account. There's so many people outside tonight. I don't understand. Probably because I'm out. They know I'm out because they posted on Instagram. Also, follow me on Instagram. There's a stop sign, but you know, who listens to those? Anyway? Mark just stresses me out. So like I said, follow me on Instagram. It's at Sandra Greek Jewish Mother. But when they see me, it's like they've seen the most beautiful person, you know? So they don't know how to react other than to like stare at me really weird. It's like, oh my god, I didn't think people could look like that, that beautiful, you know? Guess what? They can, and it's me. Those children literally just disappeared off the face of the planet. Where did they go? I think I'm going through a time warp just past like 17 stop signs. There's like 12 families standing in the middle of the road. God, these people make me so angry. I forgot that I was driving for a second there. Like it takes a lot of practice and skill to be as good of a driver as I am. And I lost my license. As you know from um, lost licenses, you can watch it on my channel. When you lose your license, it's like you lost your identity. Well, that makes sense, because your license is your ID. So, you can't buy alcohol without a fake ID. So I had to get a fake ID, and I used it for like 20 years. But that's besides the point. I think I'm going to start doing more videos for my channel, because I really 
haven't been doing enough of them. I have so many fans, you know? So many fans. I mean, so many fans. I want to make sure that my fans are happy with my content. And I want to make sure that my fans get as much of me as they can. And by doing that, you can follow me on Instagram at Sandra Greek Jewish Mother. I also have a Facebook, so go friend me on Facebook. It's Sandra Burris. And, uh, yeah. I'm going to show you or tell you guys about my daughter more because I feel like I don't talk about my family enough and I'm really passionate about my family like it's just a Greek thing Greeks are just very family oriented people you know and I just Greeks are very family oriented people I don't know what I'm gonna do because my daughter's gone and I don't know what to do without her because she's my daughter you know <laughs> like I am such a good person appreciates that about me. No one appreciates me enough. <laughs> this lighting is really good for selfies. Time people drive by me they're just so jealous of me what is that get out of my car I forgot I was driving again hello how are you no there's children I don't like children they're my least favorite creatures on this earth except for except for lizards I hate lizards I look so good oh my god <laughs> there's a oh look at that look at that tree oh my god it looks like my first husband Stop signs are just suggestions. Why are they looking at me? Oh my god, I know I'm beautiful. Do you want an autograph? I just realized that this entire time I've been not using my blinkers. I really like Donald Trump because he is just so... Like if American was a scented candle, it would just be Donald Trump smushed into a glass jar and set on fire. I feel like he really should drive out all the Mexicans. Hello. God, I hate myself. Are there people? I don't even give a fuck anymore, to be honest. I don't give a shit about these people. Like, to keep your hands at the wheel. Like, I feel like you don't really need to keep your hands at the wheel. As long as it's in a direction, you're fine. You're good to go. As long as there's a wheel and it's moving, you're fine. I love, I love myself. Yo, player hater, you should love yourself. Like, I have so many friends, and I feel like if I was an offensive person, I wouldn't have as many friends as I have. So, take that, haters. Um, back off of my life, okay? Mama always told me life was like a sock monkey in a desk drawer. You never know how it's gonna fit in the hole. So, like I was saying about having two hands on the wheel, I feel like that is just the biggest lie that I've ever heard in my entire life. Like, look, my hands aren't even on the in the ass. Yield. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. It's just like a red triangle. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You're welcome. Hugs and kisses. I keep seeing people and they're like looking at me and I'm not really sure if I should file some restraining orders or what because some of these people are looking a little bit too, you know, you know what I mean? Like, I can't believe that Mindy doesn't have direct TV. Like, who doesn't have direct TV? Like, for real. Direct TV is where it is at. Okay, okay. I think tonight I'm gonna drink a lot. Holy Jesus. You don't park in the road, hun. Where are you turning? This is why you use blinkers. Jesus Christ. This was a nice little drive that we've had here this evening, and I'm afraid it has to come to an end as I back into my driveway. Reverse. This isn't gonna work at all. God damn it. 
and we're done.